Welcome to IDB, everyone. Alongside the release of iOS 11.2 to developers, we also saw the first beta of tvOS 11.2. Now, there are a few small background tweaks and adjustments that get made, like there is now the inclusion of the unwatched section to your computer app. So if you happen to be streaming from your library, it'll now update with a unwatched section, which is really handy if you're watching a lot of content from your own uh, iTunes library. But on the other hand, we have a really useful feature, which almost everyone with the Apple TV 4K will be happy to receive. Now, the problem arises with the way that the Apple TV would upconvert content. Basically, the Apple TV 4K would immediately take whatever you were playing, no matter the source, and immediately convert it to whatever you had set as your video output. So it would just convert everything to 4K Dolby Vision HDR. It would just upscale and it would do its best, but the HDR conversion was definitely a problem. You could go in and manually make those adjustments, change the format to whatever you would prefer it to be, but that's probably not your best option and you don't wanna have to do that every single time you do it. The HDR conversion just a lot of times did not look right and looked overblown out and really ruined the experience. For someone who wants the Apple TV 4K and wants it for that 4K, you, you want good color and you want good quality. Well, there's this new option now in TVS 11.2 called Match Content. You can have it match the dynamic range, so whether it's HDR or not HDR, and you can even match the frame rate. So if it's 60 frames per second or 24 frames per second, whatever it may be, it'll automatically detect those and switch for you. So no matter whether you're watching content from Netflix, HBO, Showtime, your own iTunes library or Hulu, you can always have the proper format and HDR. Now, this is also available for developers to take advantage of. So they can go in there and control this. So if you have those options turned on, they can reflect that proper frame rate and your Apple TV and your television will automatically choose the correct format for that. So that is the biggest change here in TVS 11.2. We saw some other small tweaks in tvOS 11.1 that has not yet quite been publicly released. If you are on the latest beta of iOS 11.2, there's also a useful feature where you can see the now playing of your Apple TV inside of the control center of your iPhone or iPad. It's pretty handy to be able to go in there and see what's playing in the different sources. We still don't have any support for AirPlay 2, which we're still kind of waiting on, which allows you to play back your audio in multiple places at once. So I could have it on my Apple TV, on my HomePod, and an AirPlay speaker all over my house. Really, really handy, but unfortunately, we still don't see that yet maybe in the next beta. If you found anything else that we've missed, let us know down below in the comments. Please go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, it's Andrew for IDB.